today I'm here with Kylie and Tracy, who are two mums who've come up with a great concept to help you introduce and assist your kids to potty training. Tracy, tell me about some of the challenges parents may come across when teaching their kids to go to the toilet. Well, there's two key challenges, I guess, that parents will face. Number one is actually getting their child to go to the toilet. And number two is actually keeping them going consistently enough to, to toilet train them. Often parents find that they stop, start, stop, start, which is the case of my little girl who was two and a half at the time, and then sometimes stop completely, which then they don't know where to go next, basically. Kylie, what signs should parents look for that their child may be ready for toilet training? Well, with my boys, they started pulling at their nappies. Um, obvious dislike of having weasel poos in their nappy, um, showing an interest in going to the toilet like mum and dad do, things like that. Earlier I mentioned that the two of you had come up with a concept to help parents with toilet training. Where did this idea come from? necessity. <laughs> For myself personally, I had a two and a half year old at the time who was refusing to use the toilet. Literally, she start, stopped, start, stopped and basically stopped altogether. So my background's in product design and so I designed up a toilet training kit and within a matter of days she was toilet trained. So and upon looking and starting to research uh, into this area, we found there just wasn't anything out there for parents, I guess in my situation, that was experiencing things like that. So, and it just, potty training went on from there. Potty training, where do mums and dads start? Good question. First, you need a game plan. And I guess that's something you need to work out with your child as well, because especially if you are starting a little bit later at two and things like that, they need to know what's going on. Because if you imagine, you've taught them to wee and poo in their nappy for the last two years of, your li of their life, and now you're changing the rules on them. And parents wonder why then they get objections. So basically, you need to know your game plan, and you also need to have that confidence to follow through with that game plan, because children can smell fear. So basically, <laughs> they'll know if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so basically, you need to, I guess, have that confidence and, and step into it uh, knowing what you're doing, or at least looking like you're knowing what you're doing. So then the next step, unfortunately a lot of parents don't want to hear this, but you need to lose the nappy. During waking hours, it's, it's a scary, scary concept for, for a lot of parents, but yet yeah, you need to take your child out by big girl, big boy underpants, uh, to literally take them shopping to do that, because then they take ownership from that. And you, and you can do things like literally okay we're going to say goodbye to the nappy now and these are the ones we're going to keep dry. I'm going to keep, you can you buy wiggles or Bob the Builder or something like that. You say we're going to keep Bob dry now aren't we? So it's a real helping with them with that whole transition phase with that. It's so important also that you praise your child uh, constantly with regards to this. If you're not ready as a parent to start the toilet training process then we totally recommend you don't because you need to be in a place mentally, emotionally, etc., that you can, I guess, give that praise to your child. If you feel that you're going to uh, get angry if they make a mess on the floor, especially with toilet training, can be, because it can be really frustrating, then you need to wait until you're ready. So make it fun and go for it. Now, Tracy, you were having problems toilet training your own child, and these were a fantastic tool in turning that around. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, basically what I did was I designed up a toilet training kit for Maya, my little girl, because like I said, she was refusing to use the toilet and we tried bribing, we tried chocolate, we tried everything and it just wasn't creating that consistent consistency until she literally refused to use the toilet altogether. So I don't know what we, I had done wrong. So basically by using it and the toilet training kit, what it did is it made it fun for her and it turned toilet training into a game. So and it gave me something to work with as well. So I had a system now that I was able to uh, refer back to that and work with Maya. So the toilet training kit, what this involved, uh, this part of it, the, the chart and the stickers actually put, puts bottoms on seats. So this helped Maya to keep going consistent, consistently enough to, to toilet train her. Each time she did a wee or poo on the toilet, basically I got her to put a sticker on her chart, which would put a name on it, put it on the toilet wall, etc. And then every fifth success, we have what's called our prize box system. And again, that then was the reason from refusing to use the toilet to then racing to go because there's only two more stickers before you could use the prize box. So it just totally turned her around. So that, put, that part of it puts the bottoms on seats. 
Then there was a step-by-step -step chart which then allowed to create the independence because you want your children to do it themselves. You don't want to have to continually to be pulling up their pants, etc. So again, something tangible to work, work with for your child and refer your child back to. So it goes through the, the five steps of literally what you need to do to go to the toilet. And even if they don't, your child doesn't in the beginning go to the toilet, um, does a wee-poo on the toilet initially, you still can reward them with something positive. So they can put a tick on this chart as well because they've actually sat there and, and gave it a go. So, Because the essence of toilet training, I guess, in the beginning is to get your child to the toilet before they have an accident until they can understand the sensation themselves that they actually do need to go. Then we have a, a certificate at the end of it. It's all themed and there's five different themes to choose from. This part of the, the, the kit is very important for parents. I spoke about the game plan before, and so what this does is it helps you work out that game plan. So what you do is it's your routine chart for your child. So you monitor your child for a day without a nappy on, uh, so you can actually work out how often they are weeing, pooing, etc. And so you know, okay, if your little Johnny wees every 45 minutes, then you set a timer, say, on the oven for 40 minutes. And again, make a game out of it. So what you say to him, okay, Johnny, when you hear the buzzer on the, on the oven, we're going to race to the toilet and see who gets there first so we can put a sticker on your chart. So you're then knowing, instead of just, I guess, uh, putting your little Johnny on there whenever, you're not actually knowing what you're doing, you actually know, okay, it's been 40 minutes, it's time. So you're actually doing that with the, with the confidence. Now Kylie, you had twin boys. What was your experience with toilet training? Well, going on my sister's story, um, our experience was quite positive. I put the concept with my boys at 14 months um, with our toilet training kits um, and our whole toilet training adventure was a really positive one. Um, we actually then used a bullet, what we call a bulletproof boy pack, um, which incorporated quite a few other positive products. These are great products, they're fun, they help with parents. Um, this is actually a wee man. This is great for the boys um, to improve their aim and they can actually stand up while using the toilet. Um, other novelty fun products to use is um, we've used the Wii Target as well. Um, that's something that is that you put in the back of the toilet. Um, the black spot changes to a picture when they actually do a Wii on the toilet. Um, then flushable um, and it turns back to the black spot. So things like this, even if your boys are easy or hard to toilet train, it can certainly help with the fun side of things as well and, and getting them to actually go to the toilet. Now Kylie, can dads use them too? Most definitely. We get quite a few requests from wives actually. <laughs> now we covered a lot of information today, but one more thing, you two endorse this book. For parents with further questions, tell me a little bit about the book. We found that this is the best resource with regards to toilet training your child. It because I guess it covers every age group, it covers bedwetting, it covers hints and tips, troubleshooting and I guess the basis of it also is the fact that you're getting the, the why behind the hows and, and things like that so you're, you're understanding why things are happening, uh, not just being told that that's what you need to do. So Dr Linda Sona really goes through it in a lot of detail and gives you the historical perspective and basically the essence of it is to toilet train your age, your child by age two and runs through from babies to toddlers to bedwetting so we highly recommend it. It helped toilet train my, I started my little boy from four months old using this book and he's had bowel control since five months. He's been great so I really recommend it. Now if you're looking for more information on potty training you can check out our website kidslife.com.au. Thanks for your time today ladies.